Okay, everyone, welcome to Oofta Premium, and we're going to continue with uh, new scenarios. And uh, I'm really eager to to keep playtesting the uh, ten tokens on the adversity cards because that was, uh, I think that's a real knockout. Uh, boy, does it really add a lot of uh, uh, opportunities to do many interesting things on your turn. <clears throat> and so, let's just see what happens. Early rounds of play mean uh, you never do the adversity cards. You never distribute them. Not too early to gamble. Ah. I. Yeah, the early opportunities to uh, buy the adversity cards. Uh, I don't know if I should do that or not. Downside to doing that is check it out. I'm vulnerable. I have the undercut crop. I could plant that. Somebody's going to take that. I don't know it, right? So I'm like, uh, deplete my funds, set up tractor return, and lose a crop, or buy the or, uh, forego buying the adversity card and just buy the one. So I think that's what I'll do. Uh, we're going to play it safe on this one. Let's see what happens. I'm going to move the keys and list that person out. How about that? A little bit of early offense, right? Four. So here we go. That thing. We'll try to do the same thing. We don't have the internet now. Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, if you happen to have the uh, 12 crop at the beginning of the game, that all, of course always has an opportunity to draft, wrap around to that number one. So very much uh, opportunistic. Strategy available early on. And there it is. Okay, third round of play. We are going to. He's on the wrong one. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Take that back. Check it out. So, peas, uh, they got bumped out of the way because we landed that crop. So now I'm looking at uh, what can I do to uh, to uh, bump that back down. I kind of kind of got to wait for a two, or I can just continue farming and do other stuff. Why don't I do that instead? See what happens. So we'll do that. And we'll play it. Too bad. Let's do squash. All right, so I planted squash. Here's cucumbers. Okay, so that's all she wrote. <clears throat> Looking pretty good. Here's a five. Return three crops. Nope. Or... Yeah, do I want to do that? Yet again, I have to lose my. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Well, we're going to cancel that because I want to keep. I want to hang on to those cards. Okay. So now, I want to make sure that I have kale, so we're in good shape there. So we're going to move the. <laughs> wow, what I was just talking about with this player, we're going to move that squash down. And now they can't use that squash as a potential. So what? Yeah. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, cat and mouse early in the game. This guy, so not gonna gamble on there. Yeah. Good up. Uh, the right one is squash. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and squash. Okay, and that looks really nice. Yeah, 
Hey, I no noticed that uh, I've already made, this player made a mistake. Hey, can you guess what that might be? Like, think about it. Uh, if you know the rules, you, you've watched some of these other videos, this player made a mistake because they just received funds and they had another activity available to them. What was that activity? Put the mark token on the keys. Yeah. And the reason you want to do that is because, uh, you know, you can protect it early. Uh, early sabotage will just wipe out your stuff. Okay, so over here's a one. Huh. We're in the luckiness. Collect 10 tokens. That was a later development in Nukta, by the way. Somebody really cool at a McDonald's uh, showed me that. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay, gamble. Just Jimmy and Ty. Okay, so let's go with the Haven Gamble. Not gonna harvest. I would only get uh, five tokens for this. No, I don't. Yeah, five. Which isn't bad, considering where it's at. But I want to start the undercut crop, so I am going to uh, grab this trading house instead. So here we're going to grab the trading house. Grabbed it early. This player, now I am testing to see whether or not this player uh, has an insurmountable uh, advantage because they have this trading house. And so I'm not sure uh, if they do, right? So we're gonna we're gonna explore that a little bit and see what happens. So we bought the trading house, free uh, activity of using it. So let's uh, let's go with carrots. Check it out. I'm gonna buy a harvester. We got two people primed and ready <clears throat> to do that. Two people primed and ready to score their bounties. I will I will be the Remora eel on the belly of that shark or whatever. <clears throat> and <laughs> I'm gonna suck some uh, tokens out of them, right? <clears throat> so about the harvester, I'm gonna disc. And that is going to activate tractor return. I want to make sure we have a clear handle on that. Uh, we get the five tokens. I can use the crop. That goes to this player. And they're saying, hey, ouch, that really hurts. This player did something amazing because check it out. <clears throat> By simply uh, doing what the tractor return says and removing a crop, they decisively took the one that was the undercut crop and that. Not only did that take the opportunity away from this player, it also automatically bumps the peas up, and so now this player is stuck yet again with a crop that's uh, <laughs> not the undercut crop. So, wow. A lot of intrigue, a lot of, uh, of uh, mystery here at the beginning. That's uh, very cool. Six is... Peas are coming off. Should they even? Is it even worth? Uh, yeah, it is. It is worth taking their peas because they could, of course, move these back. But it really won't matter because they have a trade house, right? Hmm. Hmm. You know, you could foment goodwill. You don't really necessarily have to uh, take their peas. You could just be like, hey, uh, later on down the road. Your godfather will ask a task of you. <laughs> and you'd be like, yeah, okay, anything. Okay, no, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do the piece. And we'll move them off. Now we're going to have a gay old time, according to the old uh, song. Okay, so squash on the wrong one. It is ten. Hunt for Red October. That just came out of nowhere. I haven't seen that in ages. Okay, so broccoli goes to the old Russian national anthem. Because my name is Sean Connery. Very handsome devil. Okay, so let's go with carrots.
Now, I like all of this. We're going to go with the disc? No. Yeah, see, here's a tricky thing. Uh, I've been pretty quiet about the, the organic sprayer. Uh, she doesn't get the love that she deserves. And, uh, you know, organic sprayer is very nice. Um, you know, it's as good as a marker token, basically. You know, because you get this, and it essentially is a marker token protecting against adversities against crops, except, of course, for the catastrophic uh, weather ones. You know, so you need to know your probabilities, I suppose, with the cards in order to understand the strength of the organic sprayer. Uh, yeah, I just, I, right at this point, I don't think I have enough funds, that's all. And so, let's just, uh, let's see what we can do here. That's our little insurance card. Okay, so potatoes goes up in value. I could buy an adversity card, though. Hmm. Should I do that? Yeah. I... 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 Oh, then I lose all these tokens. I don't want to do that. So what we should do is just... Ah, now I have to make a decision. I can put the five token on here, protect it, or I can buy the adversity card. Hmm. Uh, what should I do? Check it out. Uh, if I buy the adversity card, I basically have two vulnerable items. One here, adversity, and a crop. If I put this on here, I have no, I only have one item, but it's no longer vulnerable, right? Yeah. Uh, if you know the answer, uh, feel free to uh, call in and tell me, because I don't really know. Even though I'm creating this uh, monstrosity. <laughs> okay, so here is... Uh, we're just going to go with that. I think I like that idea. Um, and we haven't actually done anything, so we're going to move the squash right back where she was. Very nice indeed. Broccoli goes to peas. Now we have to get rid of something. And this is the really kind of cool part. Check it out. You know, you have to make a decision. Um, you could use the trading house before you do the tractor return. It's up to you. Those are both activities. Okay. However, the tractor return, once you initiate that, you have to exchange the crop away. Then it's a loser turn, so there's no opportunity to do activities after the tractor return, and that's a, an important concept to uh, to uh, bear in mind. Okay, and so here I have a decision. Um, I need to do the trading house. If I do the trading house, I get some valuable thing, and then I do the tractor return. Uh, I'm gonna lose it, so I will just forego using the trading house. I'm not compelled to do it every time, right? So I'm gonna make the decision. You just do the tractor return, and this person over here looks at this stuff. And like, oh, early adversity, unfortunately. So we lost, uh, hopefully, damage. Well, uh, we lost 11 points. Uh, sometimes it happens. Now, I could have converted these uh, tokens and made them a marker token, right? Uh, I didn't do it. Because I was like, I don't want to do the tractor trick. Maybe that was a mistake, right? Maybe maybe it's just more important to get the, those crops protected. Prior, don't prioritize that instead, right? Anyway, I lost it. That's all. All there is to say. Okay, so now we're going to remove the crops from the field. Are we? Yeah, check it out. I put that marker token on, and it was for a good reason. Now I lost it. It still hurts, but at least I still have the investment for now. So, a lot of intrigue early on, a lot of difficulties. We, we're not, uh, you know, there's no smooth sailing in UFDA. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you're looking for smooth sailing, uh, no, no drama, no anything, uh, you're going to have to look elsewhere. Because, uh, here we have made this... Uh, crafted this into a suspenseful, suspenseful 
Okay. Uh, but it's a slow burn, you know? This isn't, uh, what do you call it? This isn't Michael Bay. <laughs> if you want Michael Bay, you can uh, have Michael Bay. This is more like, uh, this is more like Hitchcock. Where we let the suspense build. We leave the tension later on. Okay, so here's. Uh, return to camera cards on here. Okay. I don't have anything against Michael Bay, but. You know, if you like Armageddon, there's nothing wrong. Liking Armageddon. Okay, return to camera cards. This one does have to be put to uh, it's a one time. This card is usually pretty feckless. This card is pretty feckless, but uh, I'm a bit of it. Yeah, I'm a good one. Yeah, Independence Day has its moments, right? <clears throat> okay, squash. Moves up. Moving, moving right along. Burden to the Muppets. Put please some pants. Okay, um. We're gonna put our loot into the And we're gonna harvest these carrots. They get a token. Very nice indeed. Carrots on the wrong one. Our amps go to 11. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the loudest band in Britain. <laughs> okay, spinach. Now we got three spinach. And we're definitely going to. Uh, very fortuitous. Big harvest and a three for one, which is very nice. And this person has traded. So, I think we have a lot of uh, fortuitous things happen kind of early here. And let's see uh, how everyone else responds. Right. So we're going to grab some uh, chard. Try to start the undercut cup. We're going to grab from here because we want to expedite this game. And then we have to grab something random. Potatoes. Spinach goes back. Very nice. Okay. So we got all that. And now we have the trading house. Let's load up on, uh, let's do something interesting. Uh, there's no guarantee that that shard is going to stay put, right? So why don't we, I'm going to grab some broccoli. So now I, I'm covered both ways. You know, the next thing I would grab would probably be KO. You know, so now I'm covered three ways. So we have broccoli, which is right here. Now we're gonna move radishes up and by it. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we did all that. We're gonna do the training house. We did the training house, and we're done. Oh, and we had a set, uh, it was a six. Which means they gotta get rid of their squash. No, we already did that. Never mind. We already did it. You're confusing old people. Okay, so here we go with the. Uh, Beans. Be good. That's a random ET reference. Okay, so let's go with the two. Squash. No. I like squash where it's at. We're going to move that squash down the spot. Not who we can. Let's not do that. Um, Okay, technically, I don't know what they did over there, but I think it's a good idea since they have the trading house. I can make the inference that they have the chard and Taylor Bradley or something. So let's just move this chard and see what, what happens. And it's kind of feckless because I think the trading house kind of makes any of this pointless. Oh, uh, potatoes. You know, it's not as if I make all the right moves all the time. I mean, it's a walking, uh, clumsy mess. Uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> pretend to know what to do every time. No way. Okay, spam. Hmm. 
That's by the disc. That seems like a nice strong. And the disc feels like George Washington or something. It's like <laughs> some solid thing. Okay, so there's 15. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll disc all these. So I know. Get rid of Corn is to beans. Now we got the four. It's productive. What are we gonna do here? Um, I'm gonna get that trading house, and it's gonna get traded to um, broccoli carrots. Yeah, it's gonna be. Hmm, this person's in the lead. So they need to speed the game along, so let's get it uh, here. It's not much of a lead though. Uh, we, you know, that's a very scanty lead. A slim lead. And so, let's go with... Carrots. Carrots. And uh, cucumbers and uh, potatoes. Okay, so we'll get rid of these peas. And that's what we're going to do. So we got rid of the piece, and now we're going to disc. And now we're going to go trading house, which is corn. So we're going to draw two, and we do. Now we're going to flip this. So, okay. Nice. Gambling, no, you're not gonna gamble. Five is productive. Let's go with radishes. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, I only have one. Token. I can't protect it. I cannot, I, I can't protect it, so we're going to go with the uh, radishes. And we have five tokens. Unfortunately, we're going to get out of here. Wow, this is a very close game. We're going to go over here, and they're going to take the kale? Broccoli. No, they're going to take the broccoli. It was a pinch, uh, you know, nobody likes losing assets, how do we do? Okay. Getting down to the end of this first round, and we're noticing that uh, nobody has any adversity cards yet, so now is the time to do it. Oh! So we know this uh, catastrophic card. This is the worst of them all, it is now been played. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Five is productive, and... Um, well, I could do, I could... I could, uh, continue to play the... Not the last Okay. Should I do that? Yeah, let's see. I don't know. These are tough decisions. Okay, here's what's gonna. Here's uh, what's changing my mind. I have two kale. I am set up for doing this. So let's do this. Let's get tuned into this. We're gonna pay them. And now we're gonna plant the kale. And now we're gonna protect it. And now we have the money token, right? That's what uh, you can do when you have a few more funds. To do. Direct them where they need to go and enjoy the fruits of your labor. I'm forced in this point, uh, this hasn't been mentioned in other videos. Um, <clears throat> I'm forced at this point to turn these over, and so I might as well turn over the low value ones. Uh, they correspond to low value cards. So this one and this one. Oh, 
Okay, okay suspended. Come on, this person, they really need to roll a number two. Number two would be outstanding. Okay, productive. And sabotage. Should be sabotage. We should be going in this direction. Radishes. Get out of here. And now we're going to. Let's go with. Uh, Carrots is the best bet in this in this particular circumstance because um, it's in the second spot. It's not vulnerable at the at the top spot. So nice. and now we have trading house. So we're gonna grab some. Why not grab some kale? They look like they're poised over here to to uh, to get it, but. Um, I might as well try too, alright? And then, uh, one of those cucumbers. Okay, so I got that, and we're looking good. Two's productive. Do, 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 do. What should I do? Two, four, five. Here's the adversity card. Nice. I don't know what to do after that. I mean, uh, oh, yikes, this was, a, this is a hard decision, uh, you know, before we move on, look at this, um, diversity cards, grown value, we're looking at 20, 30 points, potential by game's end, where we play it now, make a decisive move, they remove their carrots, and they lose, uh, you know, it's not a nuke or anything. You know, that might influence your decisions, too. I'm not really sure just how powerful uh, how powerful are your opponents and uh, how much of a how much of an effect is it going to have, right? In this case, they're pretty powerful, so... But, you know, it's overkill because this gets rid of two crops and uh, if I don't have another crop, I would ideally like to do that on both. That's what I can't. Ah, uh, difficult. So let's just keep the adversity card. Um, uh, I can't liquidate because if I liquidated this, I would lose the, the kale. I don't want to lose the kale. So unfortunately, this is still vulnerable, open to the elements. Okay, so over here, we've moved on five. Squash goes to cucumbers, and holy Moses, we had reset the. Uh, Reset the growing season. All debts are forgiven. We like that. And we also like Pachinga. Look at that. Put 10 tokens on there. Now, are you going to be able to part ways with this card? You know, we kept it. Now we, we, we uh, get to score from it. I mean, this is a huge deal because now, now we can allocate funds and shift things around. Target, uh, it's targeted uh, fundraising, I guess you could say. Okay, so here's a two. Um, carrots, we like where that's at. Let's buy a marker token. Or, uh, let's buy a uh, diversity card. Ooh, very nice. All right, now we have another difficult decision. Now uh, we bought this card. This player can uh, play the nastiness. No crop insurance, so these would definitely be valid. And we have to figure out who to target. <laughs> this person has spinach, seven points. This one has kale, it's only one point, but that's the only pet crop. So I could focus all my energy here or distribute it among other players, right? So let's do that. So we're going to remove the uh, crops from the field. Let's just take this off. And let's take this off, right? Very nice indeed. Okay. 
Um, what do I do with the key? Yeah, we ran out of funds here, but we have plenty in we have on the adversity card, and so why don't we do this? We'll break this up. We get two five tokens. Now we're going to pay five tokens to get a new adversity card. I like that very much. Okay. Now we're going to roll two. Not enough to pay for the card, but we are going to move that spinach up. Alright. We could move the carrots down. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we're looking good. Okay. Productive roll, we don't want to... Okay, I like carrots where it's at. I'll just grab some more stuff from here. Grab some broccoli. We got broccoli, so let's get some cream. All right. And we're gonna get rid of the broccoli. Broccoli over here is gonna move up and down. Oh, that hurts them. <laughs> Or I could have went after their adversity cards, right? Didn't do it. Will that uh, be a problem for me in the future? <laughs> they can lay, lay siege to my corn or something else? I don't know. Next. Um, and now we're going to harvest. Corn. I got 13. Flip. Here. Potatoes and the broccoli. Okay. And now we're going to use the trading house. Trading house, and we're going to get some carrots. You know? Alright, so we rolled a four. Four is productive. Let's see, we're going to... Ooh, we have crop insurance. Now is a perfect opportunity to... What do we want to do? Greenhouse or high tunnel? Let's try high tunnel. Yeah. Now we're talking. I have 10 extra tokens. I have 10 extra tokens sitting here. <clears throat> That, uh, I could possibly work with. At uh, 15, rather. Yeah. Mm. So, what should I do with that extra 15? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to. Yeah, let's buy the, uh, uh, yeah, okay, let's buy some crop insurance. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take, this is where uh, allocating the funds gets pretty interesting. So we're going to take, uh, we need 20 tokens. Uh, we really need 15 because we found five right there. So we just need 10 from here, and then we'll grab five from here, and that'll give us 15. This gets divided in two. Okay, so now I have 15 tokens. And everything looks pretty good. Bought some crop insurance. Nice. Alright, moving on. We're going to use the high tunnel. It looks like this is the person to beat, so we may want to slow the game down if we can. So if we use that trading house, we'll grab from up there. Anyway, I'm sorry. I get ahead of myself. The uh, spinach is there. Now we're going to go with carrots. Corn. So here's corn, and we're planting that 
free. Very nice indeed. Corn is going to be up for an oofta. We don't have it planted on the right space though. Okay. Now we're going to replace. <clears throat> Where are we out of? Hmm. That may have been the end of the game. Yikes. So that was pretty good timing. Here's potatoes. Okay, so the game ends. This is a very interesting case, because, uh, you know, the game gets, is going to end at all different uh, times during a person's turn, right? <clears throat> uh, that's the way the game is set up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say that the crop insurance... I'm sorry, the... Uh, uh, the game ends as a um, sudden death. However, this person can finish up, they can uh, tidy up loose ends and do whatever activities they need to do, provided that they roll the right uh, die roll number. That's uh, what matters, too. Um, you know, because if you roll a 1 or a 3, that doesn't allow, I mean, a, a 1 for sure, that doesn't allow you to tidy up your loose ends. Um, you know, technically, I don't think the game can end on a, a die roll one. I haven't thought of deeply about that, but you know. anyway, <clears throat> the point is, uh, this person has now the opportunity uh, before they finish, um, before they initiate final harvest, they can take advantage of their opportunities to uh, do activities. And so, what are the activities present in this game? Trading house and high tone. So, the trading house, we don't really need to do. But, oh no, and we used the high tunnel already, okay. Um, huh, they're in a very strange, uh, sticky scenario here. I gotta think about this. Tractor return is available for them. However, if I were to initiate tractor return, even though that's an activity, it would be a loser turn. Now, uh, the idea, the, the, the thinking behind that is I get the five tokens from the tractor return and then I can uh, cultivate this before it gets harvested. Well, <clears throat> uh, you gotta scratch that idea. You gotta scratch that idea because, again, tractor return is always lose a turn and it puts a freeze on any other activities. And so that is not a viable option. So I'm pretty much stuck with uh, what I got, which is fine. So anyway, now we go ahead and harvest. So we got spinach. Uh, should we harvest spinach first? No. Should do corn first, because that's gonna bump up my bump up my spinach. So we got four and a half, so there's five. This goes right here. And then spinach on spinach is gonna be twelve. Right? So look at that. And we're gonna flip this over. And that's what we got. <clears throat> Over here we got nothing to harvest. Here we are going to harvest. Very nice. Um, they own the harvester, so I have to pay them one. Um, goes to me. Okay. Now we're going to harvest squash on the wrong one, which is ten. And nothing else to harvest here. So all that remains is tallying up. It uh, looks like we had a pretty good game balance here. Um, we always want to see that. Very optimistic. 68 to 65. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's why hey, you probably ought to recount that too, you know. That's not a bad idea. Double check your scores. When you have a close game like that, uh, it really matters. And boy, it kind of shows you like just how crucial some of these decisions were. Like it's just when one person uh, noses out another, <clears throat> you start to notice like, hey, uh, there's some seriously great uh, decision making going on here. So just to double check, yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah, it stands. So we're talking like three points difference, um, three points difference, and boy, that was. Uh, a very, very, uh, a very rewarding game experience, and so uh, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, opportunity to, for people to kind of notice, like, uh, 
uh, just how crucial their decision making is <clears throat> if they're if they're genuinely interested in uh, competing. So thank you very much.